Ease raised to the third power. Video four, getting the most from lecture. Do you avoid sitting in the front? Are you often confused in class because there is too much info? Do you take lecture lightly, perhaps coming in late, leaving early, or not coming at all because you think you can always catch up later? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. Many students don't think lecture is very important, so they either come late or they don't come at all when there is no exam. Big mistake. You want to go to class because your teacher or professor will tell you what is important and therefore what will be on the test. The best way to know what is said in lecture is to be there on time and stay to the end. Don't rely on somebody else to tell you what you missed. Lecture is also when difficult topics are explained thoroughly to help you gain a better understanding. If you don't understand, then ask questions. The goals in attending lecture are one, to check your understanding of the topics, two, to gain the correct understanding if you are confused, and three, to know exactly what to study for the test. Come to lecture prepared so that you are familiar with the topic. The best seats are in the front with minimal distractions so you can pay attention. Turn off your cell phone and put it out of sight to focus on learning. Your cell phone distracts you and those around you. Also, refrain from surfing the web or checking social media. Do not eat or drink. You may spill and distract your neighbors in addition to yourself. Do not sit next to someone whom you will like to talk to or who will distract you during lecture. Have the printed slides or your notes in front of you so you can follow along. Try to quickly look over your slides or notes while waiting for lecture to start. Brain rule. You cannot multitask effectively, so focus on listening to lecture more than writing notes. As you listen, I recommend putting a check by the topics mentioned and a star by the topics that are heavily emphasized during lecture. If you prepared well, you should be familiar with most of what is said in lecture, so you don't have to write much. Only write what you do not know, because when you write, you may miss something important that is said. Listening helps your brain to check your understanding. If your teacher's explanation match your interpretation, then you have confirmed you do understand it correctly. If the explanation is different from your understanding and it confuses you, then ask for clarification and put a question mark next to that topic. If you have a question, ask during lecture if time permits, at the end of lecture, or in office hours. The sooner you ask, the better, because this confusion may affect subsequent topics. Before you forget, write down the clarified information immediately in the blank spaces in your notes, especially if you had a wrong understanding initially. If pictures are drawn or notes are written on the board, just listen for now and snap a picture before it is erased. Don't worry about copying everything. Remember, you cannot multitask. Sometimes there is info that will not be tested Cross this slide or topic out from your notes. From your notes, you will know what to study even if the teacher does not give you a study guide. You will not have a study guide for all your future exams, so the sooner you can develop this skill of knowing what to study, the better. Attending office hours is the best kept secret to success. Go to office hours to get help from the person who will be testing you. This is superior to tutoring because your tutor is not the one who will write your exam. Unlike lecture, where there are many other students, you may be the only one in office hours, so you will get personal attention and your specific answers quickly. Also, this is a great way for you to know your teacher or professor, and he or she to know you. 
This will help him or her to write you an awesome letter of recommendation in the future. So don't be shy or intimidated. You will find that your teachers or professors are there to help you to succeed. Now we are ready to fly to video 5, inputting after lecture. <music>